To recharge a 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery, you will need 400 watts of solar panels. If you want to learn how to calculate this for different battery sizes or locations, stick around for a few minutes. I will break it down into three simple steps. At the end, I will share a wiring diagram with component selection. I'm Nick, author of Offgrid Solar Power Simplified, which has over 2000 reviews. Ready? Let's get started. First, we will need to convert our battery's capacity from volts and amp hours to watt hours. Watt hours measure the amount of stored energy in a battery, independent of voltage. So you can use these calculations for 24 and 48 volt batteries as well. Understanding this will be crucial for the next steps. A 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery has a nominal voltage of 12.8 volts. Multiplying this by the battery capacity, and we get 1280 watt hours. Let's calculate the energy capacity for a few other batteries. A 24 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery holds 2560 watt hours. A 48 volt 100 amp hour server rack battery holds 5120 watt hours. A 12 volt 100 amp hour lead acid battery holds 600 watt hours because you should only use 50% of lead acid battery. Next, we need to figure out how many sun hours you get, which depends on your location and time of year. Most of my subscribers are in Houston, Texas, where the lowest amount of sun hours is December, with 3.5 sun hours per day. I often get questions about sun hours. Let me explain briefly. 1 sun hour equals 1000 watts per square meter. So if the sun shines for 7 hours a day at 500 watts per square meter, you would still have 3.5 sun hours. This means sun hours are not the same as the amount of hours the sun is out each day. To find out the sun hours for your location, go to PV Watts and enter your details. I will link the website in the description. Only 9% of people who watch my videos are subscribed. Subscribing is still free. Your support helps me create content like this. Thanks. Now, let's put everything together. From step 1, we know that a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery has a total capacity of 1280 watt hours. Off-grid system design suggests we should recharge the battery in one day. With 3.5 sun hours per day, the formula becomes 1280 watt hours divided by 3.5 sun hours equals 365 watts. Considering the efficiency of the charge controller, which is 95%, and the lithium battery, which is 95% as well, the combined efficiency factor is 90%. So our efficiency factor becomes 1.11. Then we multiply 365 watts by 1.11 to get 400 watts of solar panels. I will show different battery sizes soon. Let's take a look at the wiring diagram first. For our setup, we need 400 watts of solar panels. We will go with two 200 watt panels to simplify the wiring. I found two 195 watt panels for $310, which is a good deal compared to the usual $400. We will wire the panels in series. However, if you're installing them on a camper or in an area with potential shading, wiring them in parallel is recommended. To determine the charge controller power requirements, we will use the formula 400 watts divided by a charging voltage equals 27 amps. A 30 amp charge controller will be sufficient. Next, let's calculate the maximum input voltage. Since the panels are wired in series, the voltage adds up. The formula is two panels times the VOC of the panel times a safety factor of 1.25 and we become 60 volts. For this setup, a Victron 130 amp charge controller costing $123 will work perfectly. Assuming the wire length from the solar panels to the charge controller is 40 feet, we will need a 10 gauge solar cable which will cost you $60. And this is a diagram. We will also need a 40 amp fuse, which will be mounted on an MRBF fuse block 
using an 8 gauge welding cable. I will link all the components in the description. Now let's calculate for different sized batteries. Let's say you have 4 server rack batteries, totaling 20 kilowatt hours. To recharge this battery in one day, you need to follow the same calculation process. 20,000 watt hours divided by 3.5 sun hours equals 5,714 watts. Then multiplying by the safety factor, we become 6,400 watts of solar panels. Now let's do the calculation for a 12 volt 100 amp hour lead acid battery. As we already saw in step 1, you can only use 50% of lead acid battery's capacity, which gives us 600 watt hours. 600 watt hours divided by 3.5 sun hours equals 170 watts. Considering the charging efficiency of a lead acid battery, which is 90%, and the charge control efficiency of 95%, this becomes 85%, which makes a 1.18 efficiency factor. 170 watts times the efficiency factor equals 200 watts of solar panels. You might notice that we need fewer solar panels to recharge a lead acid battery, but it only has half the usable capacity. You would need two of these batteries to have the same energy storage as a lithium battery. If you don't have solar panels and only a battery charger, here's how to calculate the charging time. I have left out efficiency factors for simplicity. A 12 volt 20 amp lithium battery charger delivers 240 watts. A 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium battery has an energy capacity of 1280 watt hours. If we divide them with each other, we become 5.3 hours or 5 hours and 20 minutes. Do you have questions? Leave them in the comments so we can learn from each other. Like, subscribe and thank you for tuning in. I will see you in the next one.